same kind of question really. How yeah. big was that tonight and how big was that for next season? It's important for us. Uh, it actually feels a bit like job done, not okay. overly elated, but I'm delighted to be in the, for this group of players, for the squad, for everyone associated with the Ospreys to be in the Champions Cup. Um, you know, we know it's going to be tough and it's going to really test our squad depth, but if we can get the right players on the field, we believe we can really challenge at that level. Has that been the key? In the sort of last five, six games, you've got the right players in the pitch, haven't you? Yeah, and uh, you know that's not taken away um, of the progression of other players. You know, I've said before, winning against Connor, picking up bonus points. You know, the experience. We wouldn't been playing this game today without those points. Um, obviously, we'd like to accrue more, and that's going to be a real work on for us. Um, that's. 14 games, we've picked our, our best available side in the Pro 14, we've won 12 games, so it tells you the measure of where we are when we can get access to our best players. Just in terms of, um, what was the key tonight to winning, do you think? Yeah, we started really well, I thought we played some excellent rugby. Uh, we got supremacy as the game went on up front in particular. Um, at 14 nil, we felt we could kick on, um, and then Probably a little bit of indiscipline, um, and you know, I'll leave it at that. But certainly the penalty count was strongly against us. We spoke about that at half time, about the things that we control, whether we feel it's you know right or wrong. We've just got to be better uh, at, at those aspects, and you know it's testament to the Scarlets. They they're a side that didn't go away. They weren't they were unlikely to go away with the quality of players they have and. You know what they've achieved over the last couple of years, but you know once it got to ten points, I, I felt we dominated the game really. Uh, our our physical presence and our forward unit, as I say, were excellent. Um, to get the ten point comfort was was pleasing, but even then it still felt a little bit nervy. With the squad you've got now, how much you going to have to build on that to compete in the Champions Cup next season? Yeah, it's it's, a, it's about the depth. You know, I think it's probably the same for all the Welsh regions. You, your panels around 40 um, senior players along with top end academy players whereas you look at some of the other squads in the Pro 14 it's 50 plus um, and that's got a, a wear and tear on your squad you can't roll out the same players all the time and you know, we there was one game in the Pro 14 we did have our best players available to us but we chose I chose to rest the, the players with the board's approval against Munster away from home because I recognise that you've got to manage your squad smartly and you can't expect these guys to go six weeks on the bounce because if you do that at the start of the season there'll be no gas left in the tank at the back end of the season and um, yeah and I would like to have been more comfortable in the entry into the Champions Cup I, I thoroughly believed if we'd got a third position within the league we could have challenged anybody uh, that wasn't to be so as a as a second best, we're obviously delighted that we'll, we'll play Champions Cup footy next year. Last time I didn't ask you that this season, any news on Adam Wynne Jones or Sam Davis? <laughs> I just keep telling them I want to sign them, so but it's not my money, you know, <laughs> and uh, I probably don't have enough to sign them anyway. <laughs> how, how hopeful, confident are you that that won't be Adam Wynne's last game? I, so that's been the talk in the week, but would, would, could it possibly be? I, that, that's speculation that sells mm. papers and. <laughs> You know, the bottom line, that's what it is, is speculation. Of course, it could be, it could always be somebody's last game, whether through the you unfortunate know, circumstances of an injury. You, you've got to live the moments. And I'm not, nobody associated with the Ospreys is talking about Alan Wynn's last game. We've got a, a, a job to do now. He's contracted until October, but we want to, and I'm sure he does, get that business sorted in the next couple of weeks. But, you know, Tip spoke earlier about the characters within our group, the people who have been Ospreys. It's a young club. You look at what's been achieved, you look at the people who've been central in those achievements, and those two men, you know, Tips, Alan Wynn, have been at the forefront of that. It's like you said, the talisman of what you're about, isn't it? That was the, that was the key. The, they're good men, you know, they're good men, you know, for me to be coaching an Alan Wynn, you know, 
Uh, I have a lot of respect for every player in our group. Um, we've we spoke about it beforehand. They're, they've been incredibly resilient throughout the season. I don't think even I realised the impact of uh, indecisions, but that's gone now. You know, and you could see a freshness um, and a real surge in energy about us once it was established that we were uh, going to exist as the Ospreys. And I, I, I take my hat off to everybody, management, supporters, uh, the player group in particular, and the board who've who've made that stance, and, and to the WRU, because uh, you've got to give credit words due. They they saw. Um, you know that, that the the wealth of support behind the Ospreys, and there's been a recognition that we're a strong region, and as such, we're playing Champions Cup footy next year. It's been a remarkable story with a happy ending, I suppose. Yeah, it has. It's been it's obviously been draining, you know, and uh, probably what you see in the exterior, you don't understand what's underneath. But there have been a lot of sleepless nights, to be honest. For I'm sure for many people associated. Alan, Alan with, with the whole experience, can you use that and the positivity going on to next season? Can you draw from what's gone on? Yeah, and I don't, you know, we talked about this being a renaissance, being a start, not an end. You know, regardless of people moving on, that, that if your player, it's important your players have the appetite. Our players had the appetite. Our players were desperate to play in Challenge Cup. You can see that tonight. I'm playing in three weeks, but. We worked our socks off. Boys were cramped, just getting themselves back off the ground, getting into the game. Even when it didn't matter at the end, you know, Scarlets break out from their try line, uh, were scrambling back for one another and getting a turnover on the 10 metre line. And I, that probably epitomises us as a group. There, there is a resilient group of men as I have ever worked with.